Pisces Sun, Aries Moons, this is your 2019 reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It does not matter what time of year you saw it. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments, so make sure you post up your requests. If this reading resonates with you, consider a personal reading. Rates, info, and email are below. Just send me an email. We can work that out. First portion of this reading, it will be me reading the textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign, so please refer to the source I credited below. And then I will lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. Second portion of this reading will be the link below to a Vimeo reading where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers. I'm breaking the year up into four different quadrants, quadrants, <laughs> quadrants. For this read, other things to mention, I'm on the Instant Go app. So if you need a quick answer to a quick question, download that app and look for me. I'm also updating my weekly quick uploading my weekly quickies on Facebook and Instagram. Check out my playlist for your 2018 readings to see if they rang true for you. And then also I will be uploading compatibility readings throughout the year. That is my project, my passion project. I will do that at my own speed. So here we go. Sun in Pisces, Moon in Aries. The combination of your sun sign and your moon sign produces an inner nature that differs greatly from the outer or projected personality. It's hard to strike a balance. They interrupt, guys. It's just a glitch that I'm having. Um, so where was I? Okay, it's hard to strike a balance between a sense of inward peace and reactions that are quite impulsive, active, and even aggressive. There's a blending of emotional sensitivity, adaptability, understanding that is Pisces with a high spirit and independence of Aries. With this, there is generally a strong urge for personal advancement, fame, or at least recognition, but you may need greater confidence and inward incentive to realize these desires. You may possess considerable ability for personal expression if you can just make the decision to go after it. Your strength lies in your natural love of knowledge and your urge to always be well informed. You are also very self-reliant, showing keen mental ability, the ability to think for yourself. It is important for you to avoid extremes in your life, understanding the value of moderation and self-control. You should not neglect your need to find a peaceful world and a calm approach to problems, despite natural tendencies to overdo and be rather hard driving. In many ways, you seem to be very assertive, assertive, competitive, and determined, but in actual fact, you are not really as positive and sure of yourself as you appear. In some ways, there's a good bit of bluff in your personality. You put a lot of romance and feeling into everything you do, expressing much enthusiasm with a most purposeful approach to your life. Yours is an unusual combination in that it possesses a rare capacity for depth of feeling, imagination, and vision, while it also features so much personal assertiveness and a powerful demand for independence. Okay. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please offer your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moons for 2019. Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moons, 2019. Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me energies they can expect for January, February, March? What energies can they expect for January, February, March? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. What are the energies they can expect for April, May, June? April, May, June, Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moons, the Chariot card in the upright. What energies can they expect July, August, September? Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moons. They're pulling out this card. Okay, the two of pentacles in the upright and then what do you see for pisces sun aries moons october november december what do you see they pulled out the eight of cups and reversed okay so what i'm seeing is at the beginning of the year you guys are starting off the new year january february march or going into the new year january february march with a lack of direction um you really don't have a plan you don't have a strategy in regards to something that you want to do or formulating you know, a plan so that you can go in a clear and concise direction. Um, some of you may be having doubts, some of you may be having confusion in regards to what you want to do or how you want to go about doing it. And of course, that could apply to any kind of um, avenue of life if you kind of think about it. So, um, so it's however it resonates for you guys. Now, 
going into April, May, June, it seems like you have the plan figured out because we have the chariot card, which is the card of cancer for those of you if that resonates. Now, the chariot card is very much about being very determined, very focused, very set on reaching or achieving a goal and nothing kind of getting in your way, no distractions, um, nothing of that sort. So it seems like you guys really kind of get it together in April, May, June, and um, it, it's a card of action and moving forward and not compromising with anybody. You know what you want, you have fierce determination and your intent on getting it. We move into July, August, September, where we have the Two of Pentacles. This is you guys really working your butts off. So not only are you focused and determined on making something happen, here you are really kind of working hard to make it happen. Juggling, multitasking, um, you know, trying to do what you can do, maybe to drum up capital or make ends meet or what have you. Whatever you're doing, you're really working hard. But the problem is some of you might be not, not have room for a personal life um, as a result of working so hard. So just be careful of that. Don't forget about your loved ones. And then moving into October, November, December, we have the Eight of Cups in Reverse. The Eight of Cups in Reverse is um, being confused and returning back to something um, because of the confusion and trying to figure things out um, but but not succeeding in doing so kind of like drifting aimlessly so you know I and I'm thinking because of these two cards I'm wondering if you're working so hard here that what happens is it affects um, a personal life situation or you know a home life situation or something like that and this is you returning back to that um, to kind of get things on the right page, to try to figure things out, to try to figure out what the best options are in regards to fixing that or moving on with your personal life. So that's what I see you guys for, for you guys for 2018. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just shoot me an email. We can make that happen. And then otherwise, just keep in mind everything else I mentioned about how I'm on social media and how you can see my videos or get in touch with me. Good luck, Pisces, Sun, Aries, Moons. Good luck, 2019. Bye.